Oh, nice of you to drop in. Hello to all friends of uh, the United Fanzine Organization, the UFO, and to members of the public United Fanzine Organization website uh, Facebook group. Um, um, if you're a member of this group, hopefully you know what the UFO is, what it's all about. Well, it's the longest running co-op in the comic small press and uh, we've been around since 1968 it was started by Carl Gafford I'm the current chairman of the group and uh, I've been chairman a, a few times in fact I was last chairman I was uh, first time I was chairman was like 50 years ago so yeah I've been around and uh, <laughs> and now we're back uh, doing what we enjoy doing and what do we enjoy doing in the United Fans Organization uh, we publish small press comics and fanzines, uh, magazines. You know, we publish comics and zines. And you know, if you're if you do that, then um, you might be interested in uh, joining the UFO. Um, how do you join the UFO? Well, that's kind of what this video is all about. Uh, as I said, UFO. Oh, by the way, there, there is a private UFO member site. Private for the member. You have to be a member to get into this site. And it looks like this. Yep. That's all you get to see because it's private, by golly. But um, if you're a member of the public United Fanzine Organization uh, group, which you are because you're watching this video, um, then you apparently have an interest in comics, uh, fanzines, uh, self-publishing, and that sort of thing. Excuse me. So yeah, you, that was free. There was no, no no additional fee or anything for what you just experienced there. Um, but yeah, we pu we've been around for a while. We publish uh, comics and zines, and I mean here's some of the latest ones: uh, Brain Freeze from Jim Maine, Horseman from uh, Larry Johnson, uh, the Xenology Report from Alan Sissom. And what do these? Wait a minute, I don't think Brain Freeze is a UFO's issue. It, this, this, this is not a UFO zine, but Jim Maine is a UFO member. And uh, I'm not embarrassed by showing that because it's a great comic. It's a great zine. But every UFO zine has the UFO symbol on one of the covers. Um, now I'm looking at the Xenology report. Yeah, this one's a UFO zine. It's got a different, we have, there's an old symbol, that's the newer symbol, and there's an old symbol that we also use, that one, that, that symbol's been around since the 1970s. Anyway, uh, uh, if, you wanted, if you're interested in joining the group, first you have to publish uh, a zine, self-publish uh, uh, some sort of a comic or zine, um, and um, the next thing you do, and it has to be of a certain, well, you know, the, the UFO is kind of known for having some of, the best, some of the best darn comics and zines out there in the small press realm. Uh, so we're looking for quality, uh, quality work from quality people. And uh, you're probably one of those. Uh, but you're, the first thing you do is express your interest to the chairman of the group, which is me. Uh, after that, I will send you a list of all the members and their addresses and emails. So you send everybody a free copy of whatever it is that you publish so that we can vote on it. Um, it might be a print uh, zine or it might be uh, you know, a PDF zine, an internet web zine. Um, but um, of course we like the print ones, uh, but we'll accept the other ones too. Uh, so the members vote on your admittance. Um, if you're voted in, hooray, and the voting's done very quickly because we don't do it online now. We also have a newsletter Tetragrammaton Fragments is published every two months. And here's the latest issue here. Uh, Tetragrammaton Fragments number 255. So yeah, we're up to 255. Kind of gives you an idea just how long we've been around. Uh, this contains uh, the latest news and uh, what needs to be voted on, that sort of thing. Uh, the roster, the members. And here's the members here, the current members. Um, who owes what, if you owe dues and, or whatever, um, and uh, columns, columns from the members. This one's from me, the chairman, Chairman Loadley, by golly, Alan Sisson, but we've got columns here. And um, that's part of uh, what you do. Once you're accepted into the group, well, you're expected to participate um, by sending out a free copy of your zine uh, 
every zine that you publish uh, that has the UFO symbol on it and the UFO checklist. The UFO checklist is a list of all the of the all the current currently available UFO zines. Where the heck is it? Where'd I put it in here? Yep, here it is. It says here page 36. Okay, so page 36. There it is. Uh, you're expected to include the UFO checklist in your publications as they're published. So a UFO zine has the UFO symbol and it has the checklist. There's an abbreviated checklist here for many comics and um, you know zines of 16 pages or less. Um, so you know you're expected to publish at least once a year. Um, again, it can be a web zine or it can be a print zine. Um, and to uh, include those things, the symbol and the checklist, and also to participate. Uh, at least once every two issues of uh, the UFO newsletter, uh, you would need to send in a column, you know, where you uh, discuss the other member publications, discuss and review, and uh, other stuff that's important to you. You can put in news about your, your upcoming publications, you can uh, talk about comics, you can talk about whatever you want. Um, and uh, that goes in the UFO uh, newsletter, Tetragrammaton Fragments, a name which literally means fragments from God. Well, we came up with that name way back in the 70s. And uh, I still think it's kind of a cool name. So, yeah. So, step one, get in touch with me. Step two, send out copies of your zines to the members. Uh, a free copy of, you know, whatever your most recent publication is or something that... Um, is representative of what you can do and then we vote then you're in once you're in you publish UFO zines zines that have the symbol or the checklist and you participate at least every couple of issues of uh, the UFO newsletter and uh, we also have lots of other stuff that's going on we have a UFO awards that we're reviving uh, it's been dormant for a little while but it's gonna we're gonna have an awards um, voting for the awards uh, the, you know the best stuff uh, most interesting uh, material that people have published in the UFO and there's going to be an awards comic strip. Uh, we've done a few of these in the past and it's always a whole lot of fun. If the, the, the strip will feature the members of the UFO and uh, and uh, the last one was done by Jim Main and me quite a while back uh, and we're going to do it again by golly by the end of this year. Uh, Jim is publishing a UFO special. Jim Maine has also been chairman of the UFO uh, on numerous occasions. And uh, some of the members we have here, Verl Holt Bond, David Branstetter, Jason Bullock, Rob Cooley, Rob Imes, Larry Johnson, Roger Keel, Steve Shipley, who just uh, returned to the UFO after too long an absence. We're glad to see him back. Uh, did I say Tim Kelly? Okay, Jim Maine, Ian Shires, Alan Sissom, uh, and uh, Michael Wagner and um, so those are the current members and we're looking forward to um, adding more so that's partly what this video is about we're uh, kind of a, a membership drive where we're looking for people out there who want to be part of this group and uh, have the kind of fun that we that we have that we've been having for decades and uh, I expect the UFO started in 1968. I expect it will still be going in 2068, 2168, 2268, and on and on and on. Because it's an immortal group. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, I know. I get, I get a little weird sometimes. Okay, yeah, I got a new a UFO zine too. Uh, Mantra. Mantra number 11. Thought I'd mention that. Here it is. Here it is. With a cover by uh, Anthony Gray. And back cover by our pal uh, Doug Freeman. So yeah, I'm out there doing my part too. So if you love comics and zines and you love publishing, self-publishing, it might just be the place for you. You know, if you just want to send me a line, drop me a message, and uh, and uh, we'll go get started from there. Uh, is there anything else? I made some notes, but I don't know if I'm gonna comment about anything that I made the notes about. Jim Maine's working on a. Uh, a UFO annual uh, this will come out at the end of the year it's all about cooperation that's why it's called a co-op we all help each other uh, for instance I have a 
I do the UFO checklist that's in TF, but our pal Steve Shipley has done a really beautiful full color checklist with uh, cover reproductions. Um, gee whiz, I wonder if I can find that on this here on this here computer real quick. Mm hmm. Who did I say? Larry Johnson. Larry Johnson did this. Yep. I'm, Yana, you're waiting with bated breath. I need a faster computer. What's going on here? There it is. The full color UFO checklist designed by Larry Johnson. Uh, whoop, and it just disappeared. Now there's a picture of me. How'd that happen? Oh, well, you saw it for an instant there, folks. I know it was the greatest thing you ever see, ever saw. Well, not the picture of me, but the checklist. There it is again. Okay. So, yeah, showing the uh, most recent UFO uh, publications. Okay. All right, guys. Well, uh, that's the latest. That's the scoop. If you want to join the group, since you haven't seen enough of me, I'll turn that light on so you can see me better. Um, you might uh, think about it. Um, we have lots of friends out there. Uh, for instance, this group here has, what, 250 members or something, uh, way up there, you know, who aren't members of the UFO, but we still have a lot of great friends in uh, the small press comics community. And uh, these friends, a lot of these friends, contribute to our zines. You know, comics and material. And, uh, you know, it's one big, awesome small press network out of there. And the UFO is just one small part of that. Uh, but we hope uh, a significant part of that. And uh, uh, one that's kind of respected. And as I said, we've been around since the dawn of mankind. No kidding. All right, guys. Uh, you guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. And if you have any other questions, you can comment uh, below. And... Uh, I'll be glad to ask, answer them. I won't be glad to ask them. I'll answer them instead of asking them. I think that's how it's supposed to work, kind of, yeah. Okay, everybody have a great day. Keep rocking. Yeah, I got a guitar, too. I'm just mentioning that for the heck of it, okay? And because I just got this spiffy uh, new delay pedal in the mail. Just because I'm excited about it and I wanted to mention it. Nothing to do with comics, nothing to do with the UFO. So what? This is my video, and I'll, I'll do whatever I want, by golly. All right, you, you guys have a great day. Uh, keep smiling, stay well, stay safe, and uh, see you next time. I'll see you in the uh, United Fanzine Organization Facebook group. Okay, bye-bye.